Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel, Planning and Teaching. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I do in my Teacher Tuesday videos. I normally plan with you guys for the week, but instead I'm going to post my weekly spread on tomorrow so you guys can see that. Make sure you're following me on Instagram at Planning and Teaching. Um, but today I'm going to be doing my dashboard for December as well as my monthly page. So let's go ahead and get started. I absolutely love this red and white foiled. Um, the red and white foiled tab. And I'm going to go ahead and pull out my dashboard. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. Since we're working a big. I'm going to be grabbing my quote sticker book um, to find a good quote for my teacher planner of course i'm going to also be going through a few others let's see i'm going to use this green sticker that says positive mind positive vibes positive life I really need that this month um this week was a super moon so my kids are definitely on one already because of monday so i'm definitely trying to keep myself positive so I'm gonna put that here all right and then I'm going to number my top five tasks okay so top five tasks is to um, wrap up all second nine week skills Um, I want to do a cumulative project. Um, the second thing I want to do is to organize teacher area because my area is ridiculous. Develop a better center. Rotation. And finish strong. These are my top five tasks that I want to really get done, which is finish strong because I definitely need some motivation to do that. This month's goals, I'm going to use a quote for this month's goals. And that quote is going to be... That quote is going to be, you were born with the ability to change someone's life. Don't ever waste it. And the focus of this month is positivity. All right. I don't ever do student birthdays. Um, so I'm going to grab my big grande sticker book. Since I have some red, I mean some green on here, I'm gonna grab this red one. Let's see. I'm gonna grab the red one and I'm gonna lay it right there on top of those balloons. Okay, and I did cover up um, some days out of January, but that's fine. Um, I don't really want to put my events there, so I'm going to move on. 
So this is my December dashboard right here. And I may go add some things in as um, the month continues, but for right now, this will do. Okay, so let's jump into the month. So I am definitely going to mark some um, things off here. So in my teacher sticker book, the green one, there is a winter break sticker that I'm going to grab. Okay. And I'm going to put it here because that's when my winter break starts. And if you see I have a pen in my hand, that's because I'm going to be writing as I'm working and sticking things down. So I'm going to write 60% day. Okay. All right. It's also the first day of winter, the day before that. So even though my um, book says it, I'm still going to use my first day of winter sticker and just lay it over top. Um, let's see. We have a couple of different things of testing going on this week. So we have we have I ready reading and we have I ready math. We also have um, benchmark. And I blurred my writing a little bit. I should have written this first. We have benchmark reading. We have benchmark writing. We have benchmark um, math. And then we have benchmark science and then we have makeups okay let me think we are having our class party on the 21st let's see I saw some class party sheets, so I want to definitely, I mean some class party stickers. Let me see if I can find that really quick. Right, but I do have some cute Christmas stickers, so I'm going to use Christmas. I'm going to put Christmas Eve. On Sunday, then we have New Year's Eve on the next Sunday, and I'm gonna put that there. Okay. Um. Hmm. Maybe it's in, I don't think they have class parties in my, well, I saw it, yeah, class party on this day, okay. I'm also going to grab this green sticker that says remember. And I'm going to book exchange later. I need to send that out on Tuesday. So instead of gifts, we're going to do a book exchange by at least $5 where students are going to share books. Um, let's see. Have I ready reading and I ready math? And I think that wraps up all of the testing. So I want to start cumulative project. And I believe I came with a project CP. All right. 
And I'm just going to put myself a little note. CP all the way down. And then we're going to present projects. And um, our Canva project, I think I'm going to allow it to be um, a passion project. So stay tuned. I'm going to go into real good detail about that. And I think that's going to wrap it up for me for this plan with me um, setting up my monthly teacher planner. What I am going to add, though, I'm going to add a couple of these um, stickers, these checklists to the side. And I have this red one that has like hearts on it. But it has a pink today sticker, so I just kind of cut that off. And I'm going to lay a few of these up here. I'm going to keep the to buy sticker on here because I need to be thinking about what I'm getting my kids for Christmas. And then I'm going to grab another sticker that says to do. And I'm going to put that here. And I'm going to put to plan on top of this one to kind of keep myself organized for this month so there you have it you guys that is my monthly view of my teacher planner um i really want to add a few little stickers to them to just make it a little bit more festive so let's see what we have And I think on my cumulative project, I shouldn't have, let's see, I'm going to grab this one that says big plans and I'm going to name and I'm going to let it go down a little bit and I'm going to name this passion projects. Okay. I'm not going to change CP because I do want it to be um, a cumulative task, but I want to name it Passion Project. Um, and I want to give out all of the instructions and success criteria. Okay. Um, let's see what else we have. So my mom's birthday was on the first, and I generally don't put my personal things in, but I'm gonna put that there. Um, it was a, it's gonna be a very happy day on the 22nd. We get out of school early and we start our break. Um, I have grades due, and I'm gonna get all my grades in. I'm gonna have the students turn them in, like turn them in, and then I'm gonna have them present them the next day. So I'm gonna put do grades, okay, on the 19th. I'm gonna put a note to myself that for this week of Christmas, I'm just gonna focus on family and fun before I even start thinking about returning back to school to hit that grind for the last five months of school. And let's see, that was all out of my yellow sticker book and my green Sweet Life sticker book. I think I've used the majority of, I wanna show you guys my stickers here. I have used the almost the entirety of this sticker book. I wish we had more square stickers to use. So yeah, I've used the majority of those. I do have an early dismissal sticker. So I'm gonna cover up where I wrote 60%, early dismissal, 1 p.m. Okay. All right, 
so I think that's gonna wrap it up there's no need to continue to add stickers on it if anything additional comes up I can always add a box and identify those things that I do um, so yeah so this is gonna wrap up my beginning of the month teacher planner set up and if you guys want to see one of these every month i'll be happy to do one as i said i'm really really trying to get into utilizing my dashboards and my monthly sections in in my planners um it's way easier to do it in my teacher planner than it is in my personal planners because um, I don't have my month laid out in advance for me, whereas for my teacher planner, my principal is really good at um, making sure that we have a outline of things that we have going on for the month. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please keep watching for um, December posts, and then I have tons of ideas coming up for 2018, um, and it's going to include uh, setting up my teacher planner for the next couple of months as well as setting up um, my parent communication section in my teacher notebook and then I have tons of other videos that I'm considering doing for my mini happy planner so you guys thanks so much for watching keep God first in everything you do give this video a thumbs up and click subscribe it's absolutely free and it will really mean a lot to me um, thanks again for watching be blessed and happy planning and teaching you guys Bye.